Sometimes we can't feel air. Though air is there, but we can't feel it. But when leaves move, we feel air. But sometimes the movement of air is so much that we can feel it more clearly. At other times, there are storms. There are, very, there are wind whirls. So what are these? Whenever air moves, it is called wind. So movement of air is called wind. How are winds caused? If you take an empty beaker and a beaker with water and a beaker with soil, put them in sun and you can also put some thermometers, one thermometer in each and see the rise of temperature, note it, then you put it in shade. Again, see the loss of temperature. So, what will we find? Where the rise of temperature will be faster? In air, water or soil? Certainly in air. And even the loss of water will be faster in air. And that's how the winds are caused. What happens in the cities which are on the sea coast? You see, if this is sea and this is land, during the day, due to sun, the air above land gets heated up. Once it is heated up, it moves up. When it moves up, what happens here? Low pressure. Now the air which is above sea, that is cooler. because water does not get heated up so easily. Now this cool air moves towards the low pressure area. So by evening normally what we have cold breeze coming from sun. All right. Now what happens at night? At night the reverse will happen. The wind which is above sea will not cool easily and as a result it will be hotter than the wind above land. So it will go up and the wind from land will come towards the sea. So this is how the movement of wind takes place.